All right, I got a new box from Goodman Games. We are gonna open it up, see what it is. Probably I already have it in the title of the video, so you probably already know what it is. So we'll pull it over here a little bit so we can slice this puppy open. All right. Yes. Yes. This is the Temple of Elemental Evil. Oh, that's heavy. OAR edition version. There you go. Temple of Elemental Evil. This is a two volume set, as you can see there. So this is the original Adventures Reincarnated. Um, what they do, if you if you haven't had any of these yet, they, this is number six, as you can see here. They've got Keep on the Borderlands, Isle of Dread, Expedition of the Barrier Peaks, The Lost City, Castle Amber, and Elemental Evils. The brand new one, it just released. I had it pre-ordered, it showed up today. At, so we'll open this guy up. But what these are, is they take these old classic modules. I already have Isle of Dread and Lost City, which are two of my favorite old D&D adventures. They take them and they uh, they get the originals and then they update them to, it says right on here, I think, yeah, fifth edition conversion for it. Um, my plans is actually, I actually bought fifth ed just to play Isle of Dread. And then uh, because I'm more into Pathfinder, Dungeon Crawl Classics, which is by Goodman Games. Look at this. All right. Boom. So you get two books in this thing. This one, this is volume one, the uh, dark, dark gray. They go through them. There's some updated Goodman style art. But they go through and there's there's interviews with the authors um, and people who wrote it up. Here's obviously something about maybe, yeah, the original write-up, uh, Gygax's original write-up for what this module is going to be. Look at this. See, they've got hand-drawn maps, you know, that were part of the pitch. It's funny because there's like stuff that looks like it comes right off my game table, you know. They'll get different covers for it. This is out of uh, Sailors of the Starless Sea. Sailors on the Star of the Sea. Uh, but yeah, lots of interviews, old photos. They'll have, here's an interview with the artist Jeff Easley. All kinds of photos, Dark Sun, Dragonlands. And then what they do is, yeah, here's the original publication. It looks like maybe some updates. Here's some, again, some notes. Photos of the different covers. And a little bit more full full size versions of the modules. And then you have the old school AD&D, or not, not really AD&D, these are you know, just basic expert D&D uh, &D module. Just reprinted and you know, they clean them up so they don't look like scans and stuff. Then, yeah, this one always had the village. Ooh, this is a fold out. Look at that. There's your, your classic blue. They did this, so apparently the copying machines in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s, had trouble being able to copy the blue, so the maps would be done in that blue. There's the back cover. And then here's the AD&D version. So they'll give you different versions of it. So if you want to play it old school, with like old school essentials, or if you, it's a little bit easier to convert it to like DCC this way. All the arts in there, you know, it's it's, it's like you just got them all. Um, I saw the AD&D version at a local game store, and I mean, a beat up copy 
is still like eighty dollars. So a lot of people were freaking out. This this is a hundred dollar set, which normally these are just one volume, and they're like fifty bucks. So this is two volumes. So obviously a hundred bucks is fair. Plus it comes with the slip cover, and a lot of people were freaking out. And it's like, well, go out and try to buy a copy of of Elemental Evil right now, and you're going to be paying eighty, hundred bucks for it or more, depending on condition. But it's got all the art. I was going to try to kind of skip ahead to the. Uh, all the maps. It looks like as it is, the AD&D version is already expanded quite a bit over the original. But just tons and tons. We're on page 277 right now. Yeah, DC20. So this is the uh, the updated 5th Ed version. And usually what they do on these, uh, the 5th Ed one, they'll go through and they will update it, of course, to 5th Ed rules. And they'll add areas. They'll take, uh, you know, like there was a rumor table. They'll fill a lot of that out, you know, and actually give you the little encounters to play on that. Sometimes, like Lost City, Lost City was kind of meant to be a starter dungeon. Of here's the first couple levels. You fill out the rest. Here's some ideas. Well, they went ahead and filled out the rest for you. Again, let's look at these table of contents a little bit closer. So the table of contents of the first book, the original publications, conversion of new material is from page 225 on. Okay. Okay, so I see what it is. The first volume here has 380 pages. So the first volume is all the way up through Appendix F. This is volume one right here. And then volume two is the rest of it. The other, you know, for almost 400 pages, 350 pages there is volume two, which is this book. So yeah, it kind of threw me off a little bit with having the sort of the same table of contents. I was like, wait, is it just two books with two different covers? No. So volume two continues that. And so there's quite a bit of information in there. All the art, updated art, additional art, new areas, you know, lore filled out. It's got, both volumes have a ribbon marker. This one's got a reddish one to go with the cover. This one here has a silverish blue to go with the, the dark gray cover. And yeah, very heavy duty. That's a very heavy duty slip cover to keep them both in. But this is the Temple of Elemental Evil, original adventure reincarnated by Goodman Games. Two volume set, just released. It's very cool. I have my original plans. I Like I said, I actually bought D&D 5th Ed. I, I'm a big Pathfinder guy, and the whole 4th Ed and all that just turned me off to Wizards version of D&D after 3.5. But I actually bought 5th Ed just to run Isle of Dread. I also have Lost City that I want to run, and now I've got this one that I also really want to run. So I thought, well, I'll learn 5th Ed. And I'm like, well, I can convert the stuff in 5th Ed to Pathfinder. That shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Or I will convert it to DCC, Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG, which has the feel of old D&D, but uses the modern mechanics. But I just recently got Old School Essentials. I've got the player's rules here in my hand, and then on the way in the mail is the, uh, like the DM's Guide version and a, a DM screen. So probably what I'm going to do is run these OAR books under Old School Essentials, which is literally just the classic fantasy is just the D&D &D basic and expert rules all consolidated into individual volumes. That way you can just run it right out of the book. You can even use Thacko if you want to. Excellent books, very heavy duty, very well made, and at the very least, I just like to read them because, like I said, they uh, they have all those interviews with people, the writers and artists, and and all the old stuff. Like you saw the hand drawn maps and everything. I like to just read them almost like like just reading a book, like a like a history book on on these adventures. So they're really great for that. Temple of Elemental Evil, reincarnated by Goodman Games, two volume set. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.